Not all heroes wear capes. Some wear robes. Some wear nothing. One thing's for sure. None of them give up on their favorite Yu-Gi-Oh deck. Do you think my boy Connor stopped playing Battleland Boxers? Do you think she's wearing any boxers? Do you think Mia Khalifa is gonna stop playing herpes? Uh, uh harpies? Did you think the greatest Yu-Gi-Oh player known to mankind is gonna stop playing pendulums? Hell no, to the no, no, no. Yeah, to the no, hell to the no. Have no fear, God of the Pendulum Variety is here. Just as I have every last format for the last four formats, it is now time. What time is it, Triff? Who the hell are you? What are you doing on my channel? I, I, I conduct all your scientific shit for Triff Math. Oh, that guy, yeah. You nerd. <laughs> well, hey, while you're here, bro, What's the Triff math on pendulums? Well, it's a very simple calculation, actually. Basically, actually, literally, all you do is if you plus uh, this mat and your wallet, you should buy it. So after conducting these calculations, 99% chance of victory. Four pendulums only. Six negates every turn through any hand trap. That's what I thought, man. You're my boy. You're my boy. Thank Nerd, you. <laughs> how do you get any girls with that beard or receding hairline? <laughs> or that big ass nose? <laughs> it's pendulum time! Let's get straight into the video. Six negates, new pendulum combo. Let's go! Don't forget to subscribe, guys. And don't forget to leave a like. And let me know in the comments if you want to see the deck profile. This deck's nuts. Pendulum Orcus, let's go! There are two versions to my broken Pendulum Orcus deck. Version number one is my preferred version. It's the version of Fog Blades over Rank Up. Rank Up is way too easy to side against. I've been telling you guys, Rank Up's good and all, it's cool, but it's way too easy to side against if you're playing in a big tournament. If you're playing locals, all right, big deal. No one cares about locals. But I actually do. I can't play. But any anyways, since no normal people don't care about locals, you more so want to prep for the regionals and the YCSs and the nationals, etc., etc. And stuff like Azathon, Kali, you're not going to fly at anyone competitive. Anyone that, that's good, anyone side deck that's good is not going to fly by them. They're going to summon that Denko faster than you can imagine. They're going to Kaiju you faster than you can imagine. They're going to Sphere Mode you faster than you can imagine. If you Denko or Sphere Mode, which are the biggest side deck cards against my deck I'm about to show you, you still end up multiple, multiple negates. If you Sphere Mode me, I still have three negates. If you... Danko me, I still have three, four negates. Like, right? Do you see that? But if you sphere Danko or Kaiju and Azathar and Kaliuga, you literally pass. You have, well, no, you don't pass. You actually get OTK'd that turn because you don't have anything to interrupt them, which is why Fog Blades, I think, are, are better. But obviously, game one, Azathar or Kaliuga is better. But if you're siding, you don't want to take it to the chance where it's like they're, one of their nine side deck cards is siding and they draw one of nine in a 40 card deck, you lose. That's stupid. When going first, you should auto win regardless of what they side. So that's why this is way better. I'm not going to show you guys exactly why. Uh, this is a combo tutorial. I'm going to show you guys two versions. Version number one, the superior version, where this is now... This is our hand. I'm playing against myself. I'm just going to show you guys why this is the best. And really, any hand is going to give you multiple negates. Now, this is nuts. So we're obviously just going by the motions here. If anything got hand trapped there, it was the shrine. Anything. Ash was... I'm gonna drop down real quick on the shrine and you still had the full combo that's how nuts this is so if you if there was an ash let's assume there's an ash dark room would have go ash right well boom hey we don't even need it we already had a cerberus and pen call we already won there so it doesn't matter what hand trap hey let's say they got ogred no problem we had pen call to add back to harmonizing and you're still gonna end up on mal on four negates through ogre four negates through ogre this is why you play the orcas does the skeleton bother you with this hand not at all if I didn't have Pendulum Call Skeleton, it still wouldn't bother me. Because you simply Pendulum Summon that guy. And you still got a free monster on board. All you need is monster fodder to link with. Regardless of the level. So, you're going to see why in a little bit. Now, we had the Harmonizing there. Because it, Pen Call, we didn't care. We're just going to add back a card at the very end. Uh, and hey, honestly. I want, hey, I want you guys to, to, to actually pay close attention here now. Uh, what we should have done is put Oaf and Harmonizing in the scale. All right, so our harmonizing instead of black bang because at the very end we normal summon a wisdom might we didn't use our normal yet, 
to make Evil Storm Nightmare. So there's little things to note there where we should have put Harmonizing in the scale uh, and keep Black Fang in our hand. So you can normal summon the Black Fang at the end to Evil Storm Nightmare. But that's uh, just for another six, for our six in the gate. But so keep that in mind there, all right? So keep that in mind. Uh, one thing to note over here, we're going to switch the positions, Harmonizing and Wisdom, I believe, or I should maybe not. And now that's where the combo is. So we do our normal Pendulum Summon. As you see, this normal Pendulum so far, even though we drew the Skeleton, it didn't matter. We could have kept the Skeleton in our deck. Whether it's in the deck or hand, it doesn't matter. If this is a Horror or a Nightmare, if you draw a Orcus Nightmare, it makes your combo even easier because it's a level 7. If you draw a Harp Horror, it's also easy. It doesn't matter what you draw. It literally doesn't matter what you draw. If you draw an Orcus card, it just helps your combo. It makes sure that if your Mermaid gets hand trapped, which it's not because you're playing Pendulum, so you're going to put up on the gate before Mermaid even hits the field. Mermaid will always resolve. But we still play Triple Nightmare because it's just even easier with uh, lots of level 7s to go through to make your absolute combo. And if you, again, if you don't have enough level 7s, it doesn't matter. You still have your combo regardless. This is just the easiest way to do it. So we summon typical, this is a typical, typical Pendulum board. You got a Jackal, two level 7s, and a Savage. So you're going to have three negates. It's a typical pure Pendulum board. But now, this is the difference between Pure Pendulums and Trift Pendulums. Look here, boys. So we're going to go into Nightmare Unicorn over here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Nightmare Unicorn. Summoning out our boy Vortex. This is where you can also go Azathoth. For those that want to play the Azathoth rank up combo, right? So this over here would be uh, the Azathoth, sorry. This would be ra uh, Raging. So for those guys that want to play uh, that are in level rank up, the Vortex here would be guarding all the comments. Hey, Triff, did you know that you could rank up into uh, Azathar or Kali Yuga? No, no shit. I should fucking created that combo. I just never want to release it so my friends could top with it. And then the blessed, even I didn't show it in my list, he also ended up topping with it. I think one of my friends, Yasin, showed him anyways. Uh, this is simply incredible. It's going to truly blow your mind. Shout out my boy Yasin. He has a YouTube channel, by the way. We're going to feature it a lot later. That's very soon. Anyways... What do we do here, Pengod? Well, let me show you. We're going to go into Nightmare Mermaid now. And this is why you needed to have the extra card in your hand at the very end of your combo. You see one card in hand at the end of your pen summon. So, uh, at this point, uh, discard. We go Orca's Nightmare here. Uh, Boral Savage. Right? So, we got multiple negates on board already. And if you notice, we have three negates on board. Uh, one, two, three. And we didn't even do our uh, whole play yet. We didn't even normal summon yet. All right? So here we're going to go into Galatea. Uh, or now, we're going to Galatea, so we're going to use uh, special out the card. We already drew the skeleton in the beginning. This is where you bring out the skeleton with the horror. But I wanted to show you guys how to do the combo regardless if you drew skeleton or not. Regardless if you drew Orca's card or not. It doesn't matter what you draw. It was unfortunate to draw the skeleton, but it's all good. It doesn't matter. So we're going to put out our boy. Uh, we're going to assume this is skeleton, but then if... Again, if it was a situation as it was here, it's even easier. Because you simply just banish the skeleton to special the Orca's Nightmare. And then you're going to, going to go into the summon sort like that. And in fact, it was even easier. You could summon out the... You could use Nightmare to... Like, it's literally even easier. You would have a free level 7 at the end of, if you didn't draw the skeleton. So, if we played as if we had the skeleton in our graveyard, we'd have a free level 7 on board at the very end. Uh, now, anyways, we're going to keep going into the combo. Uh, we're not going to use the Galatea to... Put, uh, not, we didn't want to put back. We want to put back to level seven uh, to set orchestrated return. So we now got a free spell. Hey, Jack, we got two counters now after we activate it. And we're not gonna go into our boy Rusty. Oh, uh, sorry, Summon Sork. Sorry, sorry. And now we're gonna use Skeleton to special out the Galatea. And we're gonna we got the World One out there. And we're gonna go into Rusty. We're gonna get as many. Uh, we're gonna get all of our uh, traps out of our deck because we do not want to see them when we draw two right now. And uh, one thing to note as well is in this combo, we also play DDs to make sure we have cards in hand, right? So we can discard freely. Uh, we didn't over search yet. We didn't even normal summon yet either. Uh, if you're set, so a lot of times your back row is going to be cl uh, clogged. You're going to have two scales on board. You're going to have a contract. You're going to have a unicorn or a, any nightmare card or whatever for the savage. And you're not going to have a spot for the fog blade. So don't forget the Rusty could pop either your contract or your, or your Nightmare card to set the Fog Blade. So don't forget that. It's also a part. It does come up a lot. Where you're going to have not enough space in your Spell and Trap Zones and Pendulums to set all your interruptions. That's absolutely insane. Uh, so next up here, we're going to 
uh, draw two because we went through the cards. We have Jackal got two nice counters there. We drew two dead cards. Not that it matters. We really don't need them. Uh, we're not going to banish a legacy card to special up the level four. We're going to activate Oath Dragon to add wisdom. And it's at this point where if we simply use Oath Dragon to add a card earlier, and if we simply uh, put Harmonizing in scale instead, use Oath to add a card to discard earlier with Mermaid. So Mermaid would have discard the card Oath added. And Black Fang would have been in our hand right now instead of Wisdom Eye Magician. And if that was the case, we then normal summon the Black Fang and go into Evil Storm Nightmare. So this should be a, a Black Fang. So the Wisdom Eye there should be a Black Fang. But earlier in the combo, it's, it's that little fix. So we could have the Six Negate as well. And just like that, that's how you put up Six Negates with Pendulum, boys. Uh, we set off Black Blade. And nice turn there. You have two cards in hand. Two cards in hand. Six Negates. I understand it's Foolish and Shrine, but what's the chances of drawing the only two dead cards left in your deck when you open a Shrine as well? That's literally insane. In a 60 card deck, chances of that trip math, 0.1%. Uh, with full Oath, Black Fang, Harmonizer coming back next turn, Six Negates, Fog Blades bringing back Rusty. You're always going to be able to pen summon two cards in a stacked extra deck. That's nuts. That's absolutely nuts. Good luck. Have fun, boys. Uh, what are you doing to this board? Please enlighten me. Now, if you're playing the Azathot version, you literally could have gone for double, uh, double rank up even. Uh, well, let's go one rank up. We go, you go one rank up, all right. So you get one rank up, and you get a redoer over here. Actor redoer is a fact. Uh, you got one rank up, and this would be no, yeah, two rank ups. This, this is two rank ups right here. So you go two rank ups. You got Azathot, Kaliuga, Jackal, and Savage Dragon. What you can also do is you could go one rank up, one redoer. You could put, oh, sorry, one rank up, one trap. Uh, Brigadine. The Brigadine uh, goes under the Redoer. You have a free level 4 just for shits. Put Wisdom Eye in your hand, whatever. And now you have a Redoer that gets rid of Denko because there's a trap underneath. You got a Kaliuga and you got two Negates. Or you could also put up uh, one Fog Blade. Actually, no, you need, a, you need a trap for Redoer. So you got Redoer with a trap underneath. You got Kaliuga, a Jackal, and a Savage Dragon. That is absolutely nuts. That is nuts. And you got the Orcus Engine for next turn. And you're going to get two cards in hand. With full scales, Pendulum Call protecting your scales. Old Dragon adding back to Harmonizing. I've done it again. I've broken Pendulums. This is retarded. This, uh, this is nuts. This is nuts. This is nuts. No swearing on this PG-13 channel. This deck's insane. It's absolutely insane. If anyone has the guts to tell me this deck's not insane, you, my friend, are insane. This deck is nuts. Absolutely nuts. I'm literally, I love this deck. I love Pendulums. You guys thought I gave up on Pendulums? I never gave up on Pendulum. I never did. I just was play. I wanted to test around different stuff. I've been featuring Pendulums for eight months. Uh, you naturally get bored of winning with Pendulums. So you naturally want to test other stuff. Of course I want to play other stuff. I play Pendulum all the time. So I want to test out other stuff. And in my findings of testing out, originally how this started is testing out what are the other best decks I could beat them. I was testing Salad Boys, Orcas, because I... I thought Orcos was such a broken engine. Uh, until finally, in my training, in my training, in my uh, research in the mountains, also where I grew my beard, uh, I realized Orcos are broken. So what do you do? You just throw Orcos in the pendulums. And what do you have? You have this masterpiece right here. So enjoy your six negates. Evil Storm Nightmare in before all the comments. What's up, my magician? Hang on, can't read. This could have been a Black Fang magician. As if I, if, if I simply just normal summon. But... I was really, uh, really focused on just giving the best, putting out as many negates as possible, even if something that slipped my mind. So, this is, should be a block bang. Don't forget that if I did not say that already 1,000 million times. That's the video, all right? Don't forget again, this could be rank ups because I'm also know that I'm going to see those in the comments. Where's the rank ups, Pengon? So, this could also be a rank up, and this could be a redoer, and this could even be double rank up, and this could be Azata, Kali Yuga. Savage Dragon and Jackal. So don't forget that. Absolutely nuts. What are you gonna do to that? Like, what are you actually gonna do to that? We could go. You could go rank up as a thought. Keep one quick. Keep this for next turn. Keep one rank up for next turn, just for fun. Just for fun. Why not? And you literally destroy your opponent. What's your? What, what are you gonna do? Six negates. Like, what are you gonna do? The hand. We even drew the skeleton. We even drew. Where are you at? Where, where's the rank? Where's the level three at? We even drew this guy. We even drew an Orcas card. What happens? Uh, oh my god! You so many bricks, so many non-pendulums. They don't break! They don't break! You pen summon them! 
You're playing 60 cards for that very reason. And if you did draw them, who the hell cares? That's also why I prefer playing Fog Blades, because if you draw one, it's a free negate. Who cares if you draw it? What if you got Hand Trap? What if our Electrum got Ogred? You put up four monsters on board. One of the four monsters is going to... If our Electrum got Ogred, just saying for you guys, uh, you we got a pen call over to add back to Harmonizing, all right? You would have made a Savage Dragon from the Harmonizing, all right? You still would have gone into Nightmare Place with the free cards you're going to put up on board. You still have multiple cards in hand. After you go night, like, that's the beauty of it. What are you hand trapping? If you're hand trapping Electrum, you could go two, ha uh, two hand traps. You're still summoning, regardless of what gets hand trapped, you're summoning at least two monsters on board. So regardless of what they got, Electrum, Ogre, Gamma, every, whatever the unearth they want to play, Valor, Impermanence, like, what are they going to play? Ash, Valor, Impermanence, none of them clear monsters, so you're always going to have Nightmares on board. Uh, you're going to put up a negate before Mermaid, so you're going to always have one negate, any, regardless, Vortex, even, even one Vortex. Put up one Vortex, Unicorn going to Mermaid, Mermaid going to this entire combo, and then just like that, you got Vortex, Double Fog Blade, and an Evil Storm Nightmare. Even if your normal Pendulum board is one negate. Do you see what I mean there? That's why this deck's insane. So even if your board, even if you get hatch up into Oblivion, they, uh, your Electrum gets Ogred, your uh, Savage, or some, your, I don't know, anything, your Absolute gets Gamma. It doesn't matter what happens. Even if they have all the hand traps, you're still going to, at the very, very least, after they stop all your Pendulums, you're going to always have one negate from Pendulums, always, regardless of what they, what they hit. So you're going to have two little fours on board. You make a little, a one harmonizing one resolve. Uh, you get a little uh, Boral Savage. And then you can make a little Nightmare with the extra random levels that are around. Like a Gate Zero and like a, like a skele Orca Skeleton that you draw because they're dead, right? You go into a little Nightmare. You go into a little Nightmare Mermaid after that. Then you put up two little Fog Blades and Evil Storm Nightmare just for shits and gigs. And just like that, you got yourself a Savage Dragon and Nightmare. Two Fog Blades. Through an Ash and a Gamma. Like, you know what I mean? Like, or whatever on Earth hand trap they have. It doesn't matter. Through an Ogre. That's why hand trap don't affect this. Uh, because the Orcas give you that. Now, going second, Orcas give you a whole other dimension to OTK. And going uh, second, the Fog Blades as well are extremely important. In a 60 card deck, you're not drawing. You play two Fog Blades and one Boots. You're not drawing them. If you do, it's all good as well. Because after you clear the board, you simply go into Rusty. And you clear the board and got double Fog Blade. Plus whatever negate you could put up. Which is why this is insane. Oh, uh, Pega, what if you draw two Orcus cards and a Pendulum Call? Bro, what if you draw two Orcus cards, a Wolf Dragon, and a Black Fang? Big deal. You simply Pendulum summon them, put up right in the gates. Doesn't matter what you draw. Doesn't matter what you draw. You guys hearing me there? Like, it doesn't matter what you draw. You can go into the Orcus combo before you even Pendulum summon, which is also what I do sometimes. Because Orcus in return gives you two free draws. So let's say, for example, you draw one Turbo card. Let's say your Electrum gets hand-trapped. Your Electrum gets hand-trapped, all right? Uh, you got Foolish and uh, Cerberus. Electrum got Impermanence. You have no, no scales. No problem. No more summon an Orcus card. Pendulum call Orcus card. Put it in Grave. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You make Nightmare card. After your Nightmare card, you go Mermaid. Even if Electrum got hand-trapped, put up a free monster on board. Nightmare Cerberus. Nightmare Mermaid. Do the whole Orcas combo. Orcas in your turn. Draw two. Draw two. Draw it to your scales. Pen five. Win. It's that easy. This deck's insane. The How it matches together is the most beautiful combination since me and pendulums. It's the most beautiful combination since me and condoms. All right. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video has been an absolute pleasure to make. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. If you want to also, don't forget, if you want to help support your boy, do check out this amazing Triff Gaming Playmat in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to like. Do not forget to... Donut? Forget to subscribe. I love you guys, man. That's why I put up content like this. I love my fans more than anything in the entire world. You guys are the absolute best, man. Also, if you, will, also, if you love me as much as I love you, don't forget... To get this beautiful trip gaming play map in the description below. I am going to be releasing my own map very soon. This is in conjunction with Pyramid Duels, but do check it out, guys. I absolutely love you guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next video. Peace!